What's going on church fam? It's church life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So I was reading the scripture, John 11 verse 11. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, our friend Lazarus sleep, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. When Lord Jesus brought Lazarus back from the dead, it made me realize something about today's time. It made me realize the plots and the schemes of the enemy. See, the devil wants people to be spiritually dead because the moment that happens, he creates this delusion that comes from the world. And he wants you to be fixated on worldly things instead of spiritual things. But before the heavenly father allows that to happen, he's going to give you revelation. See, I'm starting to realize this, y'all. If you look at all the stuff that's happening in the world right now, as we speak, it's like a lot of stuff is being exposed. God is revealing stuff to us that was once in secret and i'm starting to realize there's a great awakening that's beginning to take place god is now revealing truth to us that the enemy tried to hide that the enemy was using to deceive a multitude of people see one thing that i learned about the heavenly father is this the enemy never gets away with what he's trying to do his hand will always be revealed by the Most High God himself because darkness can't comprehend the light. And so I began to read more scripture and I'm in Revelation 3 verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, because you continue to keep the word of Lord Jesus, he said he will keep you from the hour of temptation that's going to come upon those that dwell upon earth. See, we're entering into a time that if you don't comply to the rules that comes from whatever the enemy is plotting, he's going to try to strip something away from you that's going to make your life hard. And what I'm discovering is the primary weapon of choice that the enemy will use is he tries to strip something away that you probably need to survive. And he will give you something, right, in the form of improving your quality of life. That's the temptation, y'all. That's the temptation. He wants to give you a false sense of security. And that's why you're starting to see all of this stuff in the world coming to the light. The stuff that was once hidden in the dark is now coming to the light. And God is exposing every single lie of the enemy. But here's the side note to it, y'all. The devil will expose you too. If you thought you had any security with the enemy, he will expose you too because he will never allow you to become bigger than him. He's self-centered, y'all. He's selfish. He wants to steal every single thing you thought was giving your life freedom. He wants to take it back because the devil never gives you anything for free. It's always a loan that you have to pay back, not with the same stuff that he gave you, but with your life. Because the devil don't care about this stuff. He just wants your life. But see, back to speaking upon the heavenly father, the reason why the heavenly father exposes because he don't want you to fall into the same trap. 
The Heavenly Father is trying to give you real freedom. God always gives revelation before it gets out of hand. But it's up to us to receive that word. Because the moment we receive that word, that's when the great awakening will happen in our lives. That's when it takes place. God starts to reveal what's hidden behind the veil. But we got to receive the words of truth. The enemy will always try to deceive you with the stuff of this world because he's after your life. And I'm also speaking to the ones that have been exposed. The reason why this message right here today exists is because God is trying to liberate you as well. The one who has been doing stuff behind closed doors. God wants to liberate all of us. But it starts with believing and receiving truth and hearkening to the words of God. There's a great awakening that's beginning to take place. And that's why the enemy is becoming desperate. The enemy is becoming desperate, y'all. So he's going to try to turn up that spiritual warfare. He's going to try to make you feel like you can't be saved. He's going to try to make you feel like you went too far. But as long as you got breath in your body, you can repent. You can come to Lord Jesus. That's the sole purpose of why Lord Jesus laid his life down. See, listen. Everybody thought Lazarus was dead forever. But Lord Jesus allowed Lazarus to be dead for days. And the reason why he did this is so he can show people, although you were dead, I have the power that was given to me by the Heavenly Father to resurrect the dead, to bring you back from the other side. See, God wants to bring you back from the other side. If you ever felt like you were spiritually dead, if you ever felt like you was empty inside, Lord Jesus said to Lazarus, come forth, lose him. This is the power that Christ has. If you ever thought the enemy had a grip on you, a stronghold that you felt like couldn't be broken, God is letting you know today Christ has the power to command the enemy to loose you. He must let you go. You've been asleep. But now Christ is saying he's about to awaken you. This message is for those that has been exposed. God is saying he's still by your side. You're not too far gone. Christ has the power to save you but you got to trust him. And this message is also for the ones that's been thinking about trying to get out of their circumstances, trying to get out of their problems. That temptation, that hour of temptation is present in your life right now because you want a better life. But God is saying, don't turn to those ways that drag you in the dark. Turn to the one that will place you in light. The one that can turn your circumstances around in such a way that you will never have to go through that ever again. And God is letting you know today, don't go down that path of darkness because you see what it leads to. See, the overall point of this video is to let you know God can save all who believe. But he will never force himself in your life. When Lord Jesus knock on that door of your heart. And you let him in. That's when the great awakening will take place. God is calling all of us, y'all. He's calling all of us. The ones that's in the music industry. The ones that's in the movie industry. The ones that's in a position of power. God is calling 
all of us. He wants us to understand the stuff that we can't control. Because there, there's principalities and rulers of the darkness in high places. But we have a defense against that. And that's the full armor of God. Now, who has the full armor of God? If you're curious. Lord Jesus. And that's why in John 16 verse 33, it says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace in the world. Ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That's why Lord Jesus is our strong tower in the day of trouble. That's why he's the one who will keep us from that hour of temptation. When it feel like life is just tearing us down. When it feel like there's no escape out of these burdens. Lord Jesus said, be of good cheer. I have overcome every single thing that you struggle with. See, the hour of temptation that's going to fall upon the world isn't just going to affect those who live in darkness. But at the same time, they want a way out. They ready to let it go. It's not just going to affect them. It's also going to affect believers if possible. So that's why we need a strong connection to God. And that happens. That begins to take place when we have accepted Lord Jesus Christ. See, the enemy doesn't want you to know that Lord Jesus laid his life down for the world. I'm talking about everybody that exists in this world. He became sin in order to trade places with us. He gave us his love by giving us his life. The temptation is trying to deceive you to a point that you don't think you can be saved. But I'm here to let you know you can if you allow Lord Jesus into your heart when he's knocking. When he's knocking at the door of your heart and you allow him in, you can be saved. It don't matter where you're at in life because Lord Jesus laid his life down for the world. That's in every nation, y'all. So I just want to let you know the reason why a lot of stuff that was hidden in the dark is now coming to the light is because God is revealing truth that have been covered up by lies. God is beginning to remove the lies in order to reveal the truth. And there is a great awakening that's beginning to take place. And before that happens, God always show you why this is taking place. And I just want to give words of encouragement for those who have been a victim of the enemy. God is letting you know if you're watching this, you can be saved. Just repent from those ways and accept Lord Jesus Christ. There is hope for you simply because God allowed you to wake up this morning. I pray this word bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.